All right, to introduce myself, uh, my name is Shruti Karada. I'm the Executive Director of MetroHax Empower, and we'd like to welcome you all to today's opening ceremony. So uh, after today, we hope that um, you who have registered or are still kind of wanting to know about the competition, get a little bit more clarity about uh, what our competition is about, and you guys start finding teams and um, start working on your amazing projects. So we're going to uh, kind of share the competition details through a video that we made for you guys, and then we'd love to hear any questions or any comments you have throughout the whole process. So please feel free to put them in the Zoom chat. We are the director of MetroHacks. MetroHacks is a nonprofit that was founded in 2015 to provide practical engineering opportunities for high school students. Over the past five years, we have run hackathons in Boston, New York City, DC, Hartford, and Atlanta and we've reached over 3,000 students. During these events, we have been committed to fostering a community of women in technology through our Metro Hacks Women initiative. This year, we are launching our national competition specifically for this community, Metro Hacks Empower. Our mission is to encourage more female high school enthusiasts to pursue a career in engineering. We aim to provide young women the opportunity to hone their technical and business skills in an inclusive environment. Even if you have never written a line of code or participated in a competition like Empower, we're here to guide you through every step of your project in partnership with our mentorship and workshop team. Empower is a year-long project-based competition for high school girls to create a computer science innovation that benefits their community. Together with dedicated mentors, the Empower team will help each of you take an idea that you have to solve a societal issue and bring it to life through the creation of an innovative product. There are five main steps that you will take over the coming months. After forming teams of up to four students, you will first select a society-wide problem that interests you. Second, you will perform background research in the area and ideate potential solutions to current gaps in the market. Third, you will prototype a unique solution while building a strong technical skill set along the way. Fourth, you will be able to share your product with potential users and develop a business plan to take your product to market. Finally, you will be able to present a finished solution to the Empowered Judging Team in May. Empower offers multiple unique opportunities to each participating team in order to help them through this five-step process. The first of all is you, a community of STEM enthusiasts, self-starters, and future leaders. We encourage you to reach out to Empower participants through our Slack channel. We have already seen a lot of excitement from everyone and encourage you to meet new friends and create teams through Slack. Secondly, we are offering several unique workshop sessions and classes throughout this year. During these sessions, we will teach you the fundamentals of technical topics that you can use to build your projects, including web development, app creation, and data science. Our curriculum developer, Anna, will delve much deeper into the topics that we are going to cover, and I'm extremely excited for what we have planned. Third, and most importantly, we are offering a mentorship program that will match a dedicated advisor from industry or academia with an Empower team. Through our mentorship program, you can ask questions and seek guidance from our wonderful engineers through the entire project building process. We encourage you to ask them from advice ranging from how to research existing solutions to the problem you are trying to solve, to how to craft a business plan to make your idea a reality. In addition to working on your Empower project, we encourage you to gain insight into what it's like working in STEM fields. We have mentors from top tech companies, including Microsoft, IBM, and Google, who can help you along your own career goals. We can't wait to see what you'll create with all you learn. Hi guys, my name is Varsha and I'm from Atlanta. I'm the technical director of Empower. Here's our event timeline for Empower this year. Over the next few months, each team will be able to take their idea from inception all the way to completion in time for the June judging process. The first stage of our timeline, following today's opening ceremony, will last until next week. 
During this time, you will be able to form teams of up to four people and start thinking about the problems that you want to solve with your project. Once you have a preliminary idea of what your team wants to work on, we will receive a mentor matching form on February 28th so you can request a dedicated mentor based on your team's interests. We will explain more details on this mentor matching process later in the presentation. In the second stage of the timeline, teams will be able to finalize their idea and start building prototypes along with their mentor. This stage will last into the late spring. During the stage, we will host several workshops to help teach each team skills that can help them throughout the prototyping process. In the third stage of the timeline, teams will fine tune their project and begin preparing for the submission process. The Empower Submission portal will open on May 1st and the final deadline for submission is in June. In order to access the submission portal, you will each use your Empower user accounts. Additionally, we are leaving registration open, so please encourage your friends to join the event. Now, our curriculum di director, Anna, will talk about the workshops that we are featuring. Hi everyone, my name is Anna and I'm the curriculum director for Empower. We'll announce workshops through our emails, Slack, and social media. It is important that you RSVP in advance, just like you did for this opening ceremony, as some workshop hosts may ask you to download some software or answer team specific questions before the session. We encourage each team to take advantage of this opportunity. And additionally, a component of the grading rubric will include workshop attendance. Points can only be added, not taken, so don't worry if you can't make a class for some reason. We will be recording all the sessions and we'll post them on our YouTube channel as well. These are some of the individual workshops we have in the works. A form will be going out soon asking for any specific classes you guys would be interested in. So make sure you stay tuned for that. As a start to your project exploration, we're excited to announce all Empower participants will have access to these amazing 12 week workshop sessions from last year. They are structured for students of all skill levels, starting with introductory topics before transitioning to more advanced concepts. The master list of all these classes will be available through our Slack soon. Now, Adrija will be talking about the mentorship process. Hey everyone, I'm Adrija and I'm from Atlanta and I'm the lead marketing director here at MetroHacks Empower. As we mentioned before, we're offering a mentorship program. Mentors will provide guidance throughout the entire project process, from refining an initial project idea all the way to submission in May. Some examples of the help that mentors can provide would be teaching students the process of creating a business proposal for your project, providing resources to learn the technical aspects used in your project, or critiquing prototypes of the innovation you've made and giving advice on how to make your prototype better. Mentors are accomplished engineers, businessmen, women, and marketers. Cultivate a strong connection with them and ask them questions and help with your project. Additionally, they are a great resource to guide you along your career goals. Ask them for advice on their personal stories in building their technical knowledge. Our mentor matching process will begin on February 28th. From the time between now and then, meet with your team and decide a broad problem in your community that you would like to solve and the general technical stack you will use to build your project. On February 28th, we're going to be opening up a mentor matching form for students to fill out. Once you fill out the form, within at most one week, we will match your team with a mentor based on your team skill set, knowledge, and project details. Once matched, we will create a private Slack channel where the team can connect with the mentor. We want to emphasize that you do not need to give your personal information to the mentors, such as your phone number, and that all of the communication can happen directly via Slack through messages and video calls. In order to have a productive mentor-mentee connection, there are certain responsibilities that need to be fulfilled on both sides. The main two responsibilities are meeting once a week with your mentor and committing to working at least two hours per week on your project outside time with meeting your mentor. Please also be respectful of your mentor's time as they are volunteering to guide you in your project creation process. Set up a weekly call to meet with your mentor. We know unexpected events or work can come up, but please communicate well in advance to your mentor if you're unable to make the meeting that week. 
Aside from mentor matching, we will be doing something new this year called director matching. Each group will be paired with someone on the director team. We will be holding monthly check-in meetings with each team just to have an idea of where you guys are in the project process and to answer any questions and get updates. To help guide your creative process, we also wanted to share the overall submission guidelines that our judging team will look for in June. When your team submits your project, we will be looking for three components, a series of short essays, a video summary of your project, and a design history file. The short essays include questions about your creative process, your collaborative process, and your plan to make your prototype into a real-world solution. The second portion of each team's submission is a five-minute video which contains a demo of the project that you've created. We strongly encourage you to think outside the box with your video and be creative. Lastly, the third part of the submission is a detailed design history file which describes the design choices you have made and why you made those decisions in the prototyping process. This portion is critical to explaining how your creative process will set your solution apart from other solutions that are already available on the market. We posted a more detailed description of the submission guidelines on the competition page of our website, so make sure you check it out when you get a chance. There's no need to worry about the submission process too much now, uh, though this was just a little preview to give you a feel for what judging will look like. We are extremely excited to announce that Empower will be awarding scholarships to the top national winners. These scholarships will be worth thousands of dollars, and the Empower team will share more about these awards in the coming weeks. In addition to your Empower user account, we will be using Slack to communicate with all participants. Through Slack, you will be able to meet other participants, form teams, and meet the mentors that are matched to your team. We have already sent an invite link to the Slack in the welcome email, and we can't wait for you to join the community. Our Slack has a few public channels to help you along the way. On the general channel, feel free to introduce yourself and meet mentors. We love the energy that we have already seen on the Slack, and we would love to meet more of you. The announcements channel will feature important news from our directing team. On the workshop channel, you can learn more about the speakers who will be running each of the sessions in the coming week and see if there are any suggested readings or software that you should download before they start. Finally, the Q&A channel will allow any participant to ask a question to the Empower team throughout the year. Feel free to ask any questions you may have about what we have gone over so far. Hey everyone, my name is Sonam and I'm the Branding Director at Empower. Many of you guys may be wondering, okay, so how do I get a team? This is an excellent question, so let's dive right in. We will have a team formation channel in the Slack after this ceremony. This is a safe space. You will be able to chat amongst yourselves and get to know each other. We will also create some questions to kick off the conversation. If you aren't comfortable, chatting with the channel, you can PM Anna and we can do our best to connect you with other participants. We encourage you to make your own private group chats in the Empower workspace so you can get to know each other. So I hope that video kind of served as an introduction to what Empower is. We would love to take any questions or comments you guys have. I know we couldn't cover everything as it's, you know, a six month long competition process. So we'd love to hear from you. Uh, also, if you're a returning participant from last year, uh, we'd love to hear that as well. So leave that in the chat. Uh, I think that Sonam, our social media director, wanted to take a picture of all the people at the opening ceremony for Instagram. So if you're interested in that, uh, do you want to turn on your camera uh, and then we can take a picture together? I'll give you, I'll give a second. All right, I'll take it. One, two, three, cheese. <laughs> Okay, it's good. Perfect. So let us know if you have any questions in the chat.
Um, also in the chat, I'm just gonna quickly put our Instagram um, username again so that it's there for whoever has not followed us yet. We have a lot of cool things coming up for social media, so we'd love for you guys to join. Awesome, we got some amazing questions already. Um, so from Srikanth, who is one of our amazing mentors from last year, will there be a judging rubric? Yes, so actually if you go on our website, which is empower.metrohacks.com, uh, I believe on our submission uh, subpage in our website, we have our judging rubric. Uh, one of the directors hopefully can post a link to that there. But hopefully uh, sometime later during the competition season, we can get to go in it more depth. And we actually have a video about it from last season that we would love to share as well. Bhakti asked, um, who are the judges this year? So last year, we actually worked with Verizon to provide judging to the teams, which was an awesome opportunity to work with um, the company. So hopefully, we'll be doing something similar for this year. And hopefully, we'll announce that information in the coming months. We're still working that out. But uh, one thing I do want to I'll let you guys all know is the directors here so the directing team does not judge your projects so please feel free to come to us um, we're an open book for any questions any concerns you might have don't feel like that's going to negatively impact the way that your um, submission is scored uh, Treya asked a great question uh, how large are the teams expected to be again so uh, students can work individually, uh, but we do really encourage that team collaboration and fostering that kind of community environment uh, within the Empower uh, competition. So teams are usually two to four uh, team members. And uh, also we match around two mentors to each team if you request it, one technical mentor and then one more business focused mentor. Did you want to take uh, Sanjula's question? Of course, of course. Um, so Sanjula asked, is it okay if we do not have any prior coding experience? 100% uh, that is okay. That's sort of the entire uh, point with our mentorship program is no matter what stage uh, in CompSci you are, whether it be very, very intro level or very advanced, we will be pairing you guys up with mentors. Um, so mentors are a great resource to use if you don't have prior experience. Um, I would suggest your mentors and your teammates, you know, some of you guys might end up uh, joining teams with people who have taken higher level computer science courses. And, you know, I think some of the best ways to learn is from your peers. Um, and then Renal. I wanted uh, to add something to that. Of course, um, of course. Another thing is um, last year we had many, many workshops that we did and they uh, cover set the very basics of coding javascript html so many different things even going into business and other aspects and all of those um meetings were recorded workshop sessions were recorded and um i will soon uh, put all of those videos in public on our youtube page it's just um search up metro hacks so all of those are very helpful and you can learn almost everything on all of those videos. Yeah, no, that's an awesome, awesome point. So there are definitely many resources for you to be able to use if you don't have um, any prior experience. Um, and then Murnal asked, are we picking our teams or is it random? Um, so it, you will have an opportunity to pick. So on Slack, once you guys uh, register for Empower, you should be added to all the different channels on Slack that we have. And one of those channels is called Team Formation. So that channel in specific has all of the participants on it. And um, I will be engaging in some conversation later tonight and tomorrow to try to get you guys, you know, talking to each other and seeing who's interested in what um, and so if you find someone who has project interests that are very similar to yours uh, feel free to you know reach out to them via slack dm um, and see where we can go from there definitely cool uh, that's a great question that you asked us um, the next question is are there fun trivia meets with all the uh, mentees and mentors and organizers. Uh, this is also an amazing question. So last year we did have a couple of Kahoot trivia nights. 
or uh, fun raffles. So hopefully we can do that again this year to kind of uh, see all of you guys and kind of foster that inclusive community that we were talking about before. So we're still kind of planning those meetings, but hopefully they're in the works. Uh, Brithy asks, hopefully I'm pronouncing that right, does the winner of the competition get the scholarship or does top five or something? So last year, the top three national winning teams actually won the scholarships and then we named the top 10 teams honorable mentions. So the top three teams got uh, the national scholarships. First place got $5,000, second place got $3,000, and third place got $1,000 for a total of $9,000 in scholarship uh, money, which is amazing that we were able to, you know, provide that opportunity and hopefully encourage people to pursue STEM at the collegiate level, which is our main mission, um, really encouraging women in STEM. So we're really working towards uh, working with corporate sponsors this year to raise similar funding. Um, it's still in the works, but we will be awarding uh, scholarships to the top three national winners again this year. Okay, uh, Sanjala asked, how do we confirm our team? So there isn't necessarily a official process until the uh, very end of the competition when you actually submit your projects. But when you do request a mentor, and as we mentioned, the mentor requesting form will open tomorrow, but please don't feel pressured to immediately submit that. that that's a rolling submission process. As soon as you request it within a week, we will get back to you with a suitable mentor for your project idea and the technical expertise you need in your project. But in that form, you will be adding all of your team members. So hopefully by the point you request a mentor, you will have found your team and you can build your team through uh, the Slack channels as we kind of mentioned before. Uh, Myrtle said, can we have the link to the Slack? Yes, we can uh, for sure give you the link to the Slack. Um, to get the link, all you have to do is register through our website. So uh, just want to make it clear, registration is completely free. There's no fees involved uh, in this competition. So once you register, you will receive an email automatically with a link to the Slack channel. And um, once you have that link, you just need to join and create an account, and then you'll have access to all of our channels. And um, if you're having any issues with that, please reach out to us through email or even after the ceremony. If you have specific questions, we would love to kind of sort through those with you so you can kind of reach out to your team. Uh, does someone want to take Shreya's question? Yeah, sure, I can do it. Um, so Shreya asked, when building our team, is there specific things we need to look for, like similar slash different skill levels? Um, so that's a very good question. In terms of when you're building your team, I would personally suggest to go for people who have very similar thinking when it comes to what you guys want to achieve with the project as a whole. Um, I know some. this is a computer science related uh program and competition, but your uh, project or your prototype uh, can fix problems in any realm, uh, whether it be a medicine route, engineering, architecture, anything like that. Um, so I would suggest joining a team or building your team based on where your interest lies and what direction you want to take your project. In terms of similar or different skill levels, uh, many different teams will choose to utilize or incorporate computer science in different ways, whether it be by building a website, building a prototype, building an app. Um, and so in terms of that, yes, I think I would try to get someone who has a similar idea of how you guys exactly want to execute your project, but I would not be afraid to go and maybe pair up with someone who might be knowing a little bit more about computer science than you do. It's always a great opportunity to learn from our peers um, and obviously with the mentor's help as well. So I hope that answers your question, Shreya. Yeah, just to add on to that. People can be skilled at different aspects of the project as well, right? So one person might be a little bit more technically minded, so they could really be focusing on the programming of the app, whereas somebody might be a little bit more business focused, like creating the business plan, really getting engagement with the community once you build a project and asking users to actually try your product. So don't be worried of working with people with a little bit different skill sets to create the best product you can.
And then the last question, do participants get to learn creating a business plan if they are interested? Yeah, that's a wonderful question. And something that Anna's um, host from last year, Amanda Horn, uh, at, uh, created the workshop 10 steps to business plan development and we hope to have her again i know anna's kind of in the works of um, making that possible this year as well as we're offering that business uh, minded mentor to each of the participating project teams so hopefully throughout those two opportunities students will get the opportunity to learn to craft a business plan varsha do you want to talk a little bit about uh, how slack works yeah, sure. So basically, Slack is a um, an app that allows you to communicate with others. Um, and on our Slack, you will get the link once you register on our website. And it was also posted earlier in the chat. So once you join our Slack, you will see multiple channels and each of those channels have um, different topics. So for example, one of those is team formation, where you can talk with other participants and figure out your interests and figure out who would be good to be on your team. And another channel could be um, questions. So anytime during the process, you can ask any of the directors a question and we'll help you out. So once you join that Slack, you will have access to all those channels and you will be able to uh, get resources, um, links to our uh, workshops. Um, yeah, so you, it's basically just a sort of chatting app. I hope that answers your question. <laughs> Sorry, so we skipped over Simran's question. So Simran asked, are we allowed to build on a previous website by ourselves, like just a mentor and I? And yes, you are. So essentially you can use any uh, previous computer science project that you have worked on for another, whether it be a class, a course or an organization, and you're definitely allowed to build on it and edit it uh, based off of you know, what you want your project to be this year and work with a mentor uh, about that. It is possible to work individually, yes. Just one thing to add on that. I think somewhere in our submission guidelines, we just want you to kind of indicate that. So judges know what is something you've been working on for, you know, multiple years or uh, maybe have been working on for a longer time frame and how we can fairly judge that against projects who maybe have only been working on it for around six months or something like that. But definitely we would love to encourage you to kind of reuse or build upon projects you've worked on before. Does anyone have any other questions? If not, uh, I think this is a wonderful opportunity to meet you guys for the first time in person, or virtually at least, and um, an amazing opportunity to kind of share the details of the competition and uh, really start the whole process. Oh yeah, one last question. Can we see the winner's projects from last year? Of course. So actually, if you go on uh, our site, empower.metrohacks.org, uh, there is the winners uh, on this site, so you can view last year's final ceremony as well as see the uh, names of the team and the project that they developed and the scholarships that they won last year. So hopefully I can actually put that in the chat so everybody can view that. But yes, uh, if you're interested in seeing last year's final ceremony, you can access it through there. So. Okay, awesome. Uh, if no one has any more questions, it was wonderful to meet you guys. Thank you so much for coming and we're really excited to see the innovations that you guys come up with. You are really our next, gener next generation of female leaders. So we're really excited to see what you guys can come up with. Thank you for joining guys. It was great to meet you all.